Hey, what's up guys? This is Will and I'm back with another video. And today I want to talk about um, my use and give you my uh, opinion and impressions of using the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus for two months. Uh, yeah, I picked it up two months ago and, and I waited to do my video like this because I wanted to uh, really get a feel for it check it out real good uh, see if we if I have any kind of problems out of it and just really use the phone uh, I, I did a video like this with my uh, Blackberry key one after like two weeks or a week or so like that and after I did that video I started having some problems with that phone so I didn't want to make a video like that and then uh, you know start having some problems with this phone because I've seen a lot of videos where people had a lot of problems uh, some problems with this phone not a lot so uh, but to, in my opinion the phone is still a great phone uh, it's a phenomenal phone really great phone and for the prices that you can get it at right now it's definitely worth picking up uh, but with the announcement and uh, some people are getting their the Samsung Note 8 uh, a lot of people are wondering if this is you know if they should get that or get this uh, for me uh, the only reason I would get the 8 is uh, because of the S Pen and the dual cameras on the back of it. Uh, there's some other software updates and uh, some heart uh, internal updates on that phone also. But the biggest influence on me to pick, if I was going to get that one, would be the S Pen and the uh, dual cameras. So, uh, but you can, they got great deals on that phone also. So that, you know, that's, that's, that's that on that. If you want to compare the two of them, there are a lot of videos out there that, that does that. So uh, a few things that I don't like about this phone, I'll go over those first. Uh, the size of it, as you can see, I have medium size uh, hands and the screen, this, this phone is tall, especially when it put a case on it. It's not very wide, as you can see, but it's tall and, uh, it's even taller than the uh, Galaxy, I mean the uh, iPhone S7, 7 Plus. Uh, it's taller than that. So, uh, But the great thing about Samsung, you have uh, so many features on the phone. Uh, I use the triple tap uh, on, the, on the home button right there, and it brings it down. So uh, a lot of times, you know, Apple has something like that too, but uh, I take advantage of that at times when I need to reach something in my you know, it's too far away. So uh, that that's just one thing I don't like about it is, is how tall it is. Another thing, this bottom firing speaker right here. Now the speaker sounds good, but it's just, it's uh, at the bottom, it's only one speaker right there. So a lot of times if I'm holding my phone like this, as you can see, my little pinky finger covers it up. Or if you got it, you know, like this, and you're holding it like that, if you don't realize it, you're gonna be covering up the speaker too. So uh, that's another thing. And like I said, none of these are deal breakers. Uh, this is a great phone. Uh, another thing, <laughs> this Bixby button, and everybody knows uh, that button uh, can be a pain right there. Now I haven't looked into remapping it or uh, doing anything to it, but sometimes when I'm reaching for uh, the volume or something like that. I'm always accidentally hitting hitting that Bixby button and to me I just don't like it. Uh, another thing I don't like about this phone or any phone with the glass back, I don't like the glass wax man. That's another thing to break if you're uh, if you should drop your phone that's something else you have to worry about. Another strain you got to worry about on it but I understand you know for the wireless charging and stuff like that you have to have glass back so those are just some of the things that I don't like about it I don't want to make this video too long uh, but overall uh, the phones you know uh, it's been great I, I don't have too many things I don't like about it uh, one thing that I do like is this infinity display man this is uh, Samsung you know they make some of the best displays out there and this uh, infinity display right here is beautiful and very vibrant vibrant and uh, colorful. I do wish that it was a flat screen though. Uh, I think to me that would be uh, the ultimate screen for me, a flat screen, because uh, sometimes this, this rounded edges, you know, they it can be 
kind of cumbersome doing stuff on it with the, with that edge like that. But I've I've gotten used to it uh, better than uh, the straight the, the one that I had on my S7 Edge. I like this one a whole lot better. Uh, I like all of the features on this, like that one feature I showed you there. Uh, you do have face detection. Uh, you know, all kinds of features on, on Samsung phones. So that's one thing I do like about this. And it works well on it also. Uh, to me, now, <laughs> a lot of people say they have a lot of lag on the phone. I haven't had hardly any lag with my phone. And I've been putting it through its paces. And uh, so far with this phone, compared to that S7 Edge or some of these other phones out there, to me, this phone's been great. Uh, and I, I've been using Samsung's phones for a, low, a long time. Uh, it's fluid and responsive and quick, so that's all I can say about that. And the new TouchWiz or the UI that they're using now, I like it a whole lot too. Uh, other things that I like about it, I like the Type-C, uh, the quick charging. Also, like that it still has the headphone jack. <laughs> and like someone else said, we're still talking about that in this day and age. Also the battery life. The battery life, um, I'm getting four and a half to five and a half hours of on, strain on time. So battery life is excellent also. And also the cameras on the back, they, you know, the cameras on the front and the back, they take great uh, pictures and videos. Uh, this is one of the best uh, phones you can get out there for, for the pictures and videos on it. The quality is outstanding. So, uh, that's another thing that I like about it. Uh, the fingerprint sensor, I don't have a problem. I don't have, have real big hands, but as you can see, it falls right in line with mine and it works great every time. I like the build on this thing, except for the glass back. This is a beautiful phone, beautiful design phone. It looks very modern and uh, you know, you can get a lot of accessories for it and everything. And I do think that uh, this, you know, with the hardware, inside of the internals that we'll be able to get uh, a lot of the updates you know for in the future so uh, yeah this is a great buy right now for the price that you can get it at so that's just a look at that's just my little two month look at the phone and and how you know how it's been for me but uh thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll catch y'all in the next video